got a customer with a um, failed water chiller. Um, she uses the chilled water to um, cool the beer down as it's maturing. It's like a little microbrewery. Anyway, we found the suction valve has rusted out and dumped all the R22 and a lot of the oil out of the compressor. So this, this one's dead. Um, so we've been looking at this other one he's got, which he's had for 15 years. He bought it at the same time as this one, and he hasn't run it since he's bought it. Anyway, we've swapped the power into it temporary. Um, and we've had the compressor running. It seems to have got some gas in there. Oh, we won't know until we fill the tank up with water. But the problem we've had is the uh, chilled water pump um, wouldn't turn over, it was just humming. Anyway, we've took that apart. That lives down there. So two pipes that come into it. And um, what we've found is uh, where it's been sat, water's gotten in the front bearing and uh, seized it up. Um, so. Uh, I found some engine oil in a um, can and we've soaked the bearing in that and rocked it back and forth. That was clean. You see how that's all dirt that's come out of the bearing, so we might put some fresh in there. Um, we've got it to turn around now. Um, that lives on that shaft there. So we'll get that, get some more oil in there, put it all back together and see if it'll run. Um, I'm not having a good day for bearings at the moment because my van's off the road because the wheel bearing's gone on it. And the only tools I've got, I've got my tool bag there. I mean, little little tool pouch there, and that's about it. So we're, we're trying the impossible with nothing at the moment. So anyway, I'll get this back together. Right, we've got it running, got it back together. Um, these little brass headed pumps, they, they seize up um, quite um, easily. This has only sat for a few weeks or a few months, so 15 years is uh, a long time. Quite often you have to take them apart and get a file or something on the, um, on the brass uh, impeller to clean it up a bit. But I think we might have put a few dings in there because we were trying to get it to turn um, when we first um, so when I, when I put it back together and put the power on, it wouldn't start, so what I did was loosen the screws on there so it was only barely touching, fired it up, and then I gradually nipped the screws up so it's all bedding itself in there, and I've, I've tipped a little bit of water in there so it's got some in there to get it bubbling up and down the tube, so hopefully we don't burn the seal out because we're not really pumping anything really in there at the moment, um, so it's got a bit of water in there. That. It's getting warm. We might leave that run five, five, ten minutes. Um, and there we go. Then we'll have a go at putting it back in here and piping this into these existing pipe work. Um, see if we can get this thing to run. Quick enough, um, it'll all go off. So uh, I think 
think we might just about be able to save the day with this.